So before we get into the video, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to this channel. Let me walk you through it. Just look down under this video. You'll see a red button that says subscribe. Click it. It's real simple. All right, I have the basic base mesh here that I modeled real quick with a cube. So it was something simple just to demonstrate what I'm about to show you. All right, so let's hide this by pressing H. And from top view, let's shift A to add, let's add a cube. Let's subdivide this and tab into edit mode, scale this down some. Then let's move this out to the side and let's scale it on the X axis a bit. Let's look at it from the front view and scale it down on the C axis as well. All right, back to the top view. Let's duplicate this on the Y axis and move it to just about the center. Let's rotate this one. And then rotate this one as well. All right. Now let's select this one and move it back some, just to about it like this. All right. Now let's tab back out. To, let's tab uh, out into object mode. Let's hit Shift A and add a curve, and let's add a path. All right. Now let's select the cube and let's add a. Uh, an array modifier, all right? And let's go ahead and add a curve modifier, all right? Curve object will select the path we have here. And for the array modifier, we'll select fit curve and select the curve as well. Let's change the factor of X to something really tight, all right? I don't know, I hope you can see. It's already looking like great. Let's go 4 .5, 0 0.5, 0.45, or 0.49. Right, let's tap back into the load and just play with the settings until you get what you want. Let's move this closer. Move this back. Let's move this closer. Just play with this until you get what you want. Fine tune it as much as possible. I'm going to leave it at this for now. Let's increase the level of subdivisions. Right, I can't leave this like this. Let me try to get it about how I want it. You'll play with the settings, but I'm going to leave mine like this. I think from a fire looks like great. All right. Now let's select this and scale it down. All right. Yeah, that looks like great. All right. Then I think we are about done. Now the interesting part of making this this way is, because, is that when we select the curve and tap into edit mode. When we extrude the curve, you can see that the hair follows along. So you can easily edit your hairstyle with the curve, with the path here, all right? Let me delete this. Uh, let's put this into practice, all right? Let's unhide the head. Go into front view. Let's select the both of them. All right, I'm going to do one strand just to show how easy it is, all right? I'll do one strand right across the head, all right? And then we'll call it a day. All right, let's try to move this roughly towards the center. Let's tap into edit mode, select these two edges. Go into front view and move this down some. All right, let's turn on proportional editing. Just try to move this down. Okay. All 
right, let's move this out, there we are. I think this should be fine. Alright, obviously you have uh, different options. You could make uh, long ones. You could just do whatever you feel like. Uh, use this to your advantage and try to get the hairstyle you want. You can make it longer. And you can still use the curve editing options like Alt S to scale down the tip. And you can select the braid if you feel it's too long and just scale everything down some more. And you get like finer details, all right? So this is a simple way to do it, all right? No, well, a little bit of stress, but no, the, stress ain't, the stress isn't that much, all right? So there's something simple. Uh, you can add crazy amount of details, especially with texturing later on. All right. So let me know what you think about this video. If you want to know more other techniques and how to do this, uh, drop a comment in the comment section below. All right. But I think this should be it for now. I think it looks fairly good. A lot of fine tuning and extra bits will help. But for this tutorial, this will do. Alright, well this tutorial has been nice guys, if you like this, hit that subscribe button, don't forget to like the video and drop a comment, tell me what you think, what I left out, other things, well, help me improve, alright, just tell me what you think, but don't be too hurtful, alright, okay guys, until next time.